Welcome to the DiPersio Dynasty household. I am Ryan DiPersio, and today's pantry raid is a tasty one. We are going to do red wine braised chicken thighs with cherry tomatoes, capers, red olives, and then we're going to serve it with thyme roasted smashed red bliss potatoes. So to get started, uh, we are going to heat up our Le Creuseau, all right? I absolutely... I'm in love with this thing. You could ask my wife. She's like, do you cook with anything else? I'm like, this is what I cook with. Uh, I could do so many things. I actually just baked some beautiful bread in it, as you can see. Um, but this, the Le Creuseau is going to be perfect for this dish. This is kind of a cool weather dish. Um, but if it's not cool out, wait till it cools down a little bit. Put it in your pocket because this one's going to be a good one. All right. So what we're going to do is we have the chicken thighs right here. And we are going to season it, both sides, salt and pepper, okay? Just like that. Nice, nice heavy seasoning, don't be afraid, all right? And then some fresh black pepper. I don't know if you guys remember from one of my last videos where I talked about um, the mix of peppers that I use, dried green, white, black, and pink peppercorn mix. Um, it has, it really gives this really beautiful peppery uh, flavor than straight spiced black pepper. Um, and by the way, D'Artagnan, thank you so much for this pepper mill. I use it 24-7. Um, so uh, we're going to flip them on the skin side, right? And we're going to pepper that side as well. Like I said, you want to pepper it really, salt and pepper it really well, okay? We have a little bit of olive oil in here. I have it on like medium to high heat. Now, a lot of people will tell you don't cook with olive oil. They want you to cook with either grapeseed oil or canola oil because the smoking point um, is not very high on olive oil, which can make it um, get smoke and burn faster. But I am a seasoned chef, so I'm keeping an eye on my temperature and where I'm going with it. So we're gonna sear the skin down first, okay? Hear that crackle? This is what you're looking for. The temperature you're looking for is, is that when you drop the chicken in, you want the skin to make that sizzle, okay? So while that is cooking, um, we have some mirepoix. If you don't know what mirepoix is, mirepoix is carrots, onions, and celery. Um, this is really going to add a lot of flavor to the dish. And then because you're roasting it in the pan, it's going to bring out the natural sugars from these vegetables and make and add some sweetness to the broth. Now you see that I'm using, uh, or I mentioned that I'm using capers and olives. So that's gonna add a little bit of salt. So the sweetness from the vegetable is going to basically balance it out. Salty, sweet. Um, then you have your herbs, which is gonna give you some earthiness. So what we're gonna do is we just have these small, um, celery right here and we're gonna just cut it nice and small just slice them push that aside like that and then the onion we're going to uh, let's see we'll just slice it just like that watch your fingers all right, and then the carrot, I think what I'm gonna do with the carrot is, I'm gonna do a half moon, okay? Now, typically you just chop it up, put throw it in. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna do it because I wanna add some look to the dish, all right? Uh, so you have different cuts here, sliced. Uh, these are kind of like, you know, sliced in half moons, and then this will be a half moon as well. And I'm using a mandolin to Cut them nice and thin. Watch your fingers, okay? Like I said, you can cut it any way you like. Um, just don't leave them too big because you want them to cook uh, even distribution, okay? So we have our onions, carrots, and celery right here. We have our chicken going, right? So what we're gonna do is, if we're gonna grab a fork, uh, actually I may have, I have some tongue or tweezers, I should say. So we want to get a nice caramelization on this, right? So as you can see, it's getting it, but it's not officially there yet. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our vegetables aside and we're going to cut the other product that will be going into the dish. Now, red serenol olives, uh, we, these olives are, have pits in them. We have to be very careful. Um, my, my easiest way is if you wanna just do it with your back of your hand, you can go like that and you just squeeze the, the pit right out. Or if you wanna use a knife, you can always go like this and go around. You will may get maybe a little less olive, but it'll, it'll look nicer. So what I'm gonna do is, I wanna make it look nice. I'm just gonna go all around the olive, just like that. Set the pit aside to make sure that when you're adding this into the dish, into the pot, that you don't add any pits because we don't want anybody to break their teeth, right? I also preset the oven at 415 degrees. We're gonna cook the chicken and the potatoes at the same time, okay? All right, let's flip these chickens. Look at that, that's what you're looking for. Nice little caramelization. Then you flip it out over. And we're gonna keep cutting the olives. Just like that. I also have chicken stock and I have red wine. It's a red wine braised dish, but what you do is, is you're going to add the, mm, you're going to add the red wine and then cook it down by half so there's some wine still left and then add the chicken stock. Mm. This will all incorporate together in the braise over the 45 minutes to hour that it's braising, okay? So we got our olives being cut. We have our chicken being roasted. We're seven minutes in. I'm, this is a, just going to be super easy. Like I said, you're gonna have to put it in the oven, but once it goes in the oven, you can walk away for at least 45 minutes, okay? All right, so we have our olives cut. We're gonna set that aside. And I'm gonna grab a plate for the chicken to go on. The chicken's actually gonna have to come out of the pan so the vegetables can roast next. <clears throat> Once you get both sides nice and roasted, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna set that aside and we're gonna throw our carrots, onions, and celery in the pan, okay? And just leave the excess fat from the chicken. That's really going to add a beautiful flavor to the dish, all right? All right, so. I'm gonna lower my heat a little bit. I'm gonna let the vegetables roast for a little bit and I'm gonna continue, all right? So what we're going to add to the dish is the capers, right? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab a spoon. I would say for four pieces of chicken, you're probably looking at about two tablespoons of capers, all right? What you like to do is chop them up. Now, just so you know, sometimes capers come in a brine, sometimes capers come in salt packed. These are in a brine. Uh, the brine is not too strong, so I just take it right out of the brine and I, I chop it up. If you take it out of the brine and your uh, palate thinks that it's too salty, then you can rinse them again. But I'm not gonna throw a lot of salt in here anymore because of the olives and the capers. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. Right now it's like sweating. What I really want is it to start to caramelize. Once it starts to caramelize, that's when a lot of the flavor is going to come out. Um, so we got that. I'm gonna run and get some garlic. I'll be right back. So, So once the vegetables start to roast, I'm going to add garlic. Now the garlic, uh, I like to chop it. Um, it. I have a large like cheese grater. I like to do that as well because it's almost like chopping it anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the garlic. All right, set that aside. Stir the garlic in. 
So once the garlic goes in and starts to toss, uh, toast, what you want to do now is you're going to add your red wine, okay? Deglaze with your red wine, and then we're going to cook that by half. So while that's cooking down by half, we're going to cut our cherry tomatoes, all right? Now the cherry tomatoes, we can just cut them in half, all right? Those will get just thrown right in with the olives and the capers, okay? The tomatoes are gonna add uh, a little acidity to the dish, which is great. Um, and then we're also gonna put the chicken in as well. We're just waiting for that red wine to reduce by half, okay? So what we'll do is, is we're gonna start putting in the capers, the cherry tomatoes, and the olives. I'm gonna give the olives actually a rough chop because they're a little big, okay? So right now I have the capers and the cherry tomatoes and then I'm just going to give the olives, like I said, a rough chop so they're not too big. All right. Perfect. And then that will go in as well. All right, now we're gonna throw the chicken back in nestle it in and we are going to add our chicken stock okay perfect now i am putting time in with the potatoes but i always like to put a little bit of time also in the uh, braise uh, it adds a beautiful floral note and almost earthy very earthiness to it. Um, so we're just gonna put that, we're gonna nestle that right on top so that when we pull the chicken out, we can take the stems right out, okay? We're gonna put the top on it and we're gonna throw it right in the oven, just like that. All right, now, now that the chicken's in, we can move on to the potatoes. The potatoes, we are going to, what we're gonna do? Let's put all the potatoes in a pot. We're gonna hit it with some olive oil. Oh, not that olive oil. We're gonna hit it with some olive oil, some salt, okay? And we're going to hit it some beautiful thyme. I'm gonna chop up this thyme just like that. Throw the thyme right in, just like that. Some fresh pepper. Toss it up. And then we're going to put it right on a pan. And we wanna make sure that we get all that oil, thyme, and salt that we just tossed in. Move it around. And then this is gonna go in the oven as well. Okay, so now it's been about 40 minutes. The chicken's almost ready. The potatoes are ready. We are going to take these potatoes out and we're gonna take a metal spoon, right? And we're just gonna give them a, a, a light smash, just like that. And then each one, give them a light press, okay? They're gonna go back in the oven and we want to get the bottom side nice and crispy, okay? So that's it, just keep smashing them down and then they're gonna go back in the oven and then we're gonna pull the chicken out about five minutes later from these coming out these will go in for about five minutes okay last one just give it a smash and it goes back in all right we're ready for the chicken to come out it's been 50 minutes we're gonna pull it out throw the heat back on All right, we are going to take our bowl and we're gonna put our chicken in right in the center, okay? Just like that. Grab some of the veg, the cherry tomatoes, the capers, the olives, spoon that and some sauce on top. Okay, and then I took some fresh parsley. I'm gonna give it a rough chop. Just 
nothing special. Keep it nice and rustic. This is a very rustic dish, so you can keep everything that you're using nice and rustic. And then we have our potatoes. And we're gonna take our potatoes and we're gonna nestle them on the sides of the chicken, just like that. Okay, top it with some of the chopped parsley. And that is it, that's your dish. You got your red wine braised chicken, cherry tomatoes, capers, olives, and thyme roasted smashed red blist potatoes. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I'm gonna enjoy it right now, and I'll see you on the next pantry raid.